Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Let's head on into the Ice Temple and see what lies beyond. Oh, well, there it is. The game gives it away. Yeah, White Snow, that's a town some NPCs have been mentioning for a while now. Also, since last time, I have rearranged my parties I have listed in the video description there. Most notably, I've brought Shart back out from the reserves. Terra has nearly caught up to her in experience, so they'll be good for their side quest. But a side quest I'm more interested in right now is Night Spawns. At this point, I've gotten 98 kills for him. Unfortunately, I can't check that in-game like with the PS1 version, but, well, just take my word for it. We're at nine, 98 kills. And I want to rearrange my setup a little bit before we trigger that side quest by giving him some other kills. So let's just continue onward here. Straight shot to the end. Okay, and here we got some of those white winds that we saw before uh, in the boss fight back at Salsa Volcano. I don't know if these guys are stronger or weaker or identical to the ones we fought before but we should be fine unfortunately though night spawn now is so fast i can't get terra or shart to be faster than him now so i have to use crowd control to well keep them under control there so and then in the next round finish them off with meteor and then i'm gonna have shart and terra do something useless just in case one of those white winds decides to cast heal all. But we got him! Alright. What the? What time do you mean? Boss time against Night Spawn himself. Okay, I decided to throw in some appropriate theme music here. You could go with Happy Horn if you wanted, but I think it's better to just go on the offense with, like, Thunder Punch. Whoa! Okay, we're good. We're good. But yeah, go with Thunder Punch there, and Mega Saint. Those will deal the bulk of our damage. And maybe if I'm lucky, yes, we got Poison Gun in there, too. So that'll deal a lot of damage early on. Okay, so we got our big chunk of damage out of the way there. So let's see. Let's have Terra try to put him to sleep. Well, so much for Thunder Punch. Well, at least we got him to go to sleep. Ah, well, thanks. Thanks, game. I'm not going to bother reestablishing Poison. We got our big damage out of the way at this point from Poison. At this point, it's not that big of a deal here. Now, this battle will always trigger after you finish a battle with Night Spawn, in which he gets 100 kills. Unless it's a boss fight. You, you'll still get the kills for him. But, what was it? But yeah, you won't trigger the extra battle here in a boss fight. You could go into another battle after he's gotten 100 kills in a boss fight. And have him kill no enemies. And it'll still trigger the side quest in a random battle. Doesn't work in bosses. So, but we're doing pretty good whittling him down. Fortunately, physical attacks or damage of any sort does not break the sleep status in this game. But all right, got him. Ha ha. And it is a very, very good puppet. And for completing that side quest, we get a new ability for Cornet, Flame of Hell, or I like to call it Flames of Hell, but the nice thing about having Flame of Hell is not so much because it can exploit a water elemental weakness, but because there's quite a few wind elemental enemies for in the remainder of the game, and, well, Family Breath would not be useful against them because it's Wind Elemental. So Flames of Hell gives us the ability to bypass that problem. So now I have two 
uh, mass damage spells for Carnet, and that'll really break the game wide open. Starting with these guys. Well, I'm not going to have Cornette do anything, but we got werewolves there. And let's see, they got Shockwave and Parahowl, just like previous versions. So they can paralyze multiple party members, or they can charm you, confuse you. So you want to watch out for that. But all right, for now, yeah, let's just go with what we got here. Try to put some of them to sleep. I, I, did I select that? I forget. I lost my concentration there. Whoa, wait. No, I don't need to put him to sleep. We've already got all the kills for Night Spawn, so I don't need to worry about delaying the battle long enough for him to do that. But still, I'm just keeping Night Spawn in my party for now because I usually don't quite get my 100 kills by this point. But that's really the big reason why I got the Waterstone first. Because going through Salsa Volcano three times gives him a lot of kills. So let's see, if you examine this snowman here in the village of White Snow, and you have Kid and Tell in your party. Oh, okay. So your brother's a snowman? Maybe they just built a snowman out of his egg form. But yeah, you want to talk to the snowman there or examine it. And... Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> so, how do we get you out of there? I've already got two rotten eggs in the party. I don't need three. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, we're all right. Well, your time is pretty much past, kid and tell. No. 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 Don't make me do it. Okay, yeah. All right, now we got all three of the Egg Brothers, and there's a side quest that we could do at the Ancient Forest now, but I'll save that for a little later. Now, the reason I came here is not so much to get the next Elemental Stone, but just to unlock this town so we can buy Speed Shoes. I want to get eight of those, and they are really, really good, allowing me to have my party members get faster than enemies. There's also the Hero's Charm, though I'm not going to buy that. And let's see, they also sell, uh, let's see, yeah, Elixirs, or Elixir Balls. It restores everyone's HP to max. Eventually, I want to buy some of those, but not right now. I don't think that's necessary at this point. So I'm not going to be going for the Thunderstone, which is what you could do here at Whitestone in the Tower of Ninetail there. But instead, if you've already gotten the Waterstone under Blue Cat there, we can go over to Caro Caro. So, yeah, let's go check that one out. I want to go after the Earthstone next. Mostly because we get quite a few party members after doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I heard or saw one frog guy around here. Well, what do you mean? Oh well, no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. Hmm, I wonder if that was Meow. I don't know. I don't think they ever really elaborate on that, but I would assume that's what they were talking about, or maybe just some of her soldiers or whatever. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, if you guys can talk, why not? Yeah, they hide that treasure there behind the trees like that. Well, what do you mean? Oh, well, yeah, they gotta make 
baby monster somehow. Nice bunk bed they got there, but nothing we can do with that. What temple? I mean, oh, okay. Whatever they got going on. Yeah, the ice temple didn't exactly look like a temple I've ever seen. Oh, really? Well, good for him. Sounds like a plan. I hope everything works out for him. Remember that name for later. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't think that could possibly be true. Don't waste your time with that. Oh. Yeah, that must be what that other guy was talking about. Oh. Well, good, good. I mean, we saw one at Blue Cats, though. No one had a problem there. Yeah, here they also sell Hero Charms. Those are the ultimate defensive boosting accessory. And I do want to get some of them eventually, but not right now. There's enemies that can drop them later on, so I won't have to spend money on it. Sure, why not? Or not. Let's try that one. What happens if I say no immediately? Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind, then. Sure, why not? Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay, no, no. In order to get past this guy, you have to answer yes, yes, no, and then you're good. What netherworld? Hmm. I don't seem to be able to read that sign there. Something or other. But I do want to change my setup a bit from here on. So let's see, I want to get the Thunder Charm for Cornette there so she can start using her mass damage spells. And I want to rearrange my setup a bit so that everyone has at least 70 speed. 80 would be nice. And give the defense ropes to whoever is in the second position of my party in case enemies decide to gang up on you. And then, yeah, Tara's a little light on speed there, but I think we'll be fine. Just give her the genius cap there, and I think we're all at full and good to go. One time when I was playing the game, I had the game freeze on me when I examined the frog statue there. That works exactly the same as the goddess statues that we've seen, which stores all of your HP and SP. It says MP, but, well, just ignore that. And let's continue on. Yeah, this part's playing automatically, at least with Cornette moving around. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Sure, why not? How tough could they possibly be? What do you mean? Well, then, move on. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. You're probably just imagining things. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> I think she means... Boss time! Against Boo Boo and BB or Bebe, however you want to pronounce it. So, okay, we want to get Happy Horn going first there. And then, yeah, deal some mass damage there with Meteor or Mega Meteor, whatever you have. And Holy there for a little bit of extra damage. But let's see, yeah, these guys all have a lot of mass damage spells. So you want to be protected and prepared for it there. Now in the second round, I want to go with, well, I usually go with Family Breath. I could use Flames of he or wait, no, no, that, some of those guys are Fire Elemental. I'll have to use Family Breath. Usually I don't have Flames of Hell quite yet at this point in the game. And then, yeah, let's have Shart start healing us up, so that way Cornette can freely use her mass damage spells there. That is a little bit of a problem with this version 
of the game. Because, like, you have the mass damage that you get from Flames of Hell and Family Breath there, which basically neuters Flare and... Uh, what was it? Flare and Billy, who would otherwise be the best wind and fire elemental characters, respectively. Yeah, Billy's a pretty good mage-type character. But we have Flames of Pal, so why bother? And I can only have Holy Charm for one character. Now here, I don't want to use Thunder Punch against the guy, because, well, he's Thunder Elemental, so I deal a lot less damage with that. So even though... Flames of Hell is mass damage. It still deals really good damage to a single target there. So that's pretty nice. And no one needs to use thunder attacks in order to damage this guy. So we just go with that. Funny how we summon Night Spawn there, even though he's in our party already there. I always kind of wondered if the damage from those math damage spells that we're getting for Cornette is dependent on the stats and equipment of the puppets being summoned, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But alright, we're done here. Well, we can continue to go through, but I do want to heal up there. But can we continue through the frog road to the castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!